Good afternoon guys, my name's Sonia, I'm Oliver's mum. Um, today we're going to be making a sugar-free chocolate cake because I'm diabetic and so Oliver wanted to show that you can do, use all the different ingredients you can use to make a sugar-free cake. So I'll just get my son to come over. Oh, hello mum, how are we doing? Hello. So let's do this chocolate cake guys, sugar-free today. So just run through all the ingredients we've used. So we're using cocoa flour. Which is... Which is, this is the coconut flour which you use to make the chocolate cake with. You've got diabetic sugar. And this is the sugar that you use, or you can use any kind of sweetener that you have in your house. It doesn't matter what kind of sweetener, as long as it's a sweetener. We've used a pinch yeah. of salt. Um, just give me a sec, guys. With 75 grams of butter, 180 mils of sour cream, six eggs, a pinch of salt, as Oliver said, and a teaspoon of vanilla extract. Okay. And Three teaspoons of a carbon, so no baking powder. Baking, baking powder. powder. Yeah. Have you said about the um, the sugar was said about the eggs were said about the cocoa? We use 100 grams of cocoa, dark cocoa powder. So you can get the dark cocoa powder that'd be better because it's got less sugar in it. And the, like I said, the coconut flour is better for you because it's got less sugar in it as well. So right. it won't be you won't upset your it's gluten free. Yeah. And plus it's gluten free, so if you've got a gluten intolerance, you can actually make this cake and it won't affect the person who is using it. So So where did we get this book from? I got this book from W.A. Smith about half a year ago. Um, it's got all sorts of uh, recipes in there for diet, for people who've got diabetes and who are kind of like, you know. So as the weeks go on, maybe we might do some more cooking from this book so you can actually learn how to cook them as well. So shall we get going? Yeah. So in here we've got all the ingredients in one bowl. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add the butter. Stir that around a little tiny bit. Right, now what we've got in this jug is what I've said, which is the sour cream, eggs, eggs vanilla, vanilla paste, and... Vanilla paste and... <laughs> <laughs> eggs and sour cream, yeah? You just said yeah. Yeah, we did, didn't we? <laughs> well, we'll tip this in and then we mix it all together. Yeah, so... I already wanted to use the mixer, but I said it'd be easier if we just did it by hand because then it spares you a bit getting the mixer dirty if you don't have to. Oh, so um, while she's just doing that, guys, um, please like, share, subscribe. Enable the notification. If you'd like to see more of these videos, please let me know. Come and join my Facebook page, Cook with Oliver. You'll see my logo on there. Um, and you need a eight inch cake tin that um, it needs to be lightly greased. What I've got over here, I'll just show you because it might not just be coming in the video. Lightly greased in there, guys. And you need the oven at 160 degrees Celsius. Oh, let me get this right 160 degrees Celsius gas mark free or 140 degrees fahrenheit so yeah mm. we've done a lot of this now Com oh. we've just combined all the ingredients together just make sure it's completely mixed there's nothing worse than having a cake that's not mixed properly yeah definitely mum definitely and also in this video we'll also be doing the sugar free frosting as well so you'll just get to see a bit of that as well well wow, there's gonna be a lot of cocoa powder though I have said that, no, I never generally weigh my ingredients, but we did weigh the ingredients today because we didn't want to make a mistake. Yeah, coconut definitely. flour does actually absorb a lot of the moisture you put into your cake. So if you're using cocoa flour, you've got to remember you use less cocoa powder than what you would do if you use normal self-raising or plain flour. Because like I say, cocoa powder does, cocoa flour does actually soak up a load of your wet ingredients. So yeah. just so you know that. But hopefully... This cake will come out lovely. Definitely. Because I've not made this one before, so this is going to be an experiment in itself. Yes, right. so. Yeah. The ingredients are all mixed together. Is it? Yes. Does it supposed to have lumps, Mum, or is it. It can be a little bit lumpy. So you just walk up to the camera set just to show them what the mixture would look like. Here you go. It's near enough completely smooth, as you can see. But that's what the ingredients will look like. I mean, it looks a bit wet. Lovely. But that is how it should look. So yeah. don't worry if it does look a little bit wet, okay? And if you've got lumps in there, it's fine. It might just be because of that co yeah, cocoa might, yeah. flour, just because you'll get them the odd little, tiny little bits that are not pureed enough. But this cookbook, has, I've looked at it, it's really nice. It's got 
Raspberry and almond tray bakes. It's got ice cream, has made sugar free ice cream, lollies as well, so you can make lollies and everything like that. There's lemon bars, there's, there's little biscuits you can make as well, which should, you know. Chocolate chip yeah. cookies in there. So if there's anything you'd like us to cook, you know, we can make sugar free, just let us, just let Oliver know. Yes. Um, we'd be more than happy to do that because we both like cooking and, you know, I like doing things for my son. Yeah. So the time I get to spend with him, we're in the kitchen together. So now it's all mixed. Oh, banana cream pie. It's time to put it into the tin, guys. And just bring the tin down one so we Here can just we move go. these out of the way you know, so they can see the, Here we go. the thickness of it though. Like I say, it'll be very runny, so you know, don't worry about it. Yeah, don't worry about it, guys. We're All professionals. Right. That's how it should look. <laughs> it feels around about half the cake tin, so it's going to be yeah. a nice, that's nice quite cake. That's why you use a deep cake to tin because when it's cooked and it's cooled down a bit, you're going to have to cut it in half. Yeah. So that's going to be fun. Yeah. I've not done that since I did my catering. <laughs> oh boy. So you know, <laughs> it may be a bit of a mess, but I wouldn't worry about it because you know, I've not done these professionally in years. Oh no, definitely. So you know, my kids have been brought up on my crappy cooking for like 22, I mean 23, 18, no 19 <laughs> and 13 years. So now we're going to put it in the oven. You don't put it on the top shelf, you put it on the middle shelf of the oven because that's where the heat will be more be more even. You put it in here, four, and you put it in four. Oh, yeah, well done. So because it's a sugar-free recipe, it takes longer, so it'll bake for 45 to 50 minutes or then and then cool. Or if you put a skewer into the middle of the cake and comes out clean, the cake is done. What is it? This is cooking. You can make the frosting, add the butter and chocolate to a small saucepan. Oh, saucepan one. A saucepan one. Oh, oh. joy! Should we do that a little bit later on, mate? We can do it now for one. Yeah, but then again, do you want to do it? only done six minutes. It's only done six minutes. Okay, we can do the icing if you like. Wait, right, what do we need? What do you want to do the icing later? Well, I don't know. Should we do it a little bit later? Oh, Give it right. a little bit time to cook. When we've got to heat up on saucepan, it'll be a bit warm, won't it? Why are we debating while we're recording? Right, shall I get a sauce for uh, right. I don't know, do we? Shall I, let's see what it says what it's, it says what it's cooking to do, didn't it? Right, so we've got dark chocolate, so we need 200 grams of dark chocolate, yeah, 100 grams of there. butter. Yeah, we've got that. Uh, cream cheese, yeah. we've got that. Icing sugar, we've got that. Yeah. It's got cocoa powder, yeah. vanilla extract, and yeah. we've got dark cream. Yeah. Huh. What do you want to do? We can do that later. We can do that later. Well, we'll do the icing a little bit later. We'll give the cake a little bit of time to cook, you know. Yeah. I'm a little bit of a nerd when it comes to cooking, and Oliver has to live with me and put up with me, so you know. Bless yeah. his little cotton socks. Help me. It doesn't mean that he Any help be. lines, just put it down in the comments. <laughs> <laughs> but, anyways, guys, thank you for watching part one of the sugar free chocolate cake. Chocolate cake. Come back for part two where we'll then do the frosting and also see the cake come out the oven. Yeah, that should be fun. Yeah, that will be fun. Absolute mum. Definitely. Thank you for helping me at That's the moment. Okay. And hopefully see you back in part two. Oh, definitely, definitely, yeah. definitely. Yay! Yeah, so don't forget to like, share, subscribe, enable them notifications. Put the bell on, guys. Get the bell on. Come and check out my Facebook group. We're almost at, we've gone past 50 now. I want to get to the 100 now, so follow there. Get me to 60 subscribers, guys. I'll be happy. And yeah, share. And say, anything you want to make that's sugar free and you want me to try and make it, just let me know. Yeah. And I'll give anything a try once. So, you know, thank you very much for watching us and we'll see you in part two. See you in part two, guys. Bye. Bye.